I was I was down I wasn't feeling too well I wasn't really eating didn't have no appetite none of that type of stuff but today I'm okay I'm okay I just know the Lord will will see me through a lot of things that's happening right now but First off, I want to say y'all are not going to see Lewis. Um, just know that. Y'all not going to see Lewis. And, um, yeah. I just want y'all to know that y'all not going to see Lewis. Who am going to put this wig on, chair. church this morning have me a blessed day in the service oh, okay I was trying to see if my wig was wig was uh in the back I was trying to figure out if the thing was strapped in I haven't even put my makeup like my foundation and stuff on my face I just got my lashes on I did my brows I haven't did everything y'all Thank God I got up on time this morning. Yeah, I gotta go in here and get this. Uh, I gotta go get my little, my little, uh, oh, my little comb box, y'all, so I can get my my little baby hair brushes and stuff. I got Jamaya up. She in there putting us to. Putting her uh, clothes on and stuff. Ooh, yeah. I can lay back down right now, but yeah, I know how I feel about going to church on Sundays. <laughs> I gotta go get my worship on this morning, baby. Y'all going to church this morning? What y'all doing on this Sunday morning? praying for some answers. I've been doing a lot of praying and I know God going he going to answer in due time. He shall answer in due time, y'all. Where's my thing? 
favorite. I'm gonna tote my uh cute little Louis Vuitton bag today with my outfits. I had already picked her and I was just like, well, let me just go on and get her. And um, I'm gonna rock her today. Let me try to tie this down. kind of funny but I'm gonna have to tie it down y'all I want to thank everybody for y'all's prayers and I know some of y'all probably still is praying for me and I want to thank y'all so much um oh there's something in my eye oh lord Y'all, when I get to waking up so early, I just be looking like drained. I be looking so dang on drained. Because I be so sleepy. I still be like, I don't know, out of the early, early, early in the morning. Because lately, I have not been... I really haven't been sleeping like I'll be up at one and two in the morning just up I'll be watching some of y'all videos and stuff and commenting on, up under some of y'all videos at one and two in the morning y'all like I'd be up late and I used to wonder like why I can't go to sleep Something just ain't right about this picture. <laughs> then, you know, the next day, I still couldn't go to sleep. Then the next day, then the next day. And it's just been an on and on process that your girl just ain't been sleeping, y'all. And it's been going on for a minute. Matter of fact, I think I told y'all that I wasn't sleeping when Lewis was here with me. And I told y'all that I wasn't sleeping at all, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, I don't know if, I don't know. I know somebody told me God is probably trying to talk to you, Candice. But I knew that he was trying to talk to me, though. I kind of figured that because I kept staying up, like, every night. I wasn't going to sleep, like, at all. Until when that daytime hit, y'all, like, I'd have been stayed up all night. And child, I can look up and see my window light. See like the daylight a little bit. And I'm looking like, let me look at let me look at this time and see what time it is. Chad be five o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I'm still not sleep. Some just ain't right. Some just ain't right at all. But yeah. That's what's been going on. I've been up for some reason. And I know God is trying to tell me something. And um, I'm probably going to go into a little bit more detail with y'all. I'm going to pray about some things. But actually I've already been praying. But I'm going to talk to y'all some more. And um let y'all know like just a little stuff here and there because you know I be directed by the Lord and he'll tell me exactly how to do things so I'll probably t talk to y'all again yeah I'll probably talk to y'all again <sighs> let me get my little spray bottle I ain't not looking at child. I got a little water in here, but not much. Hmm. I'm not I 
I may go see my granny at the church today, y'all. I may stop by her house and go see her. At the church. I'm going to call her first to see if she at home. Because granny may just be at church herself. And I may not be able to see her today. I may wait. Wait another day. And just go by the house. And uh. And see her like that. Jamaya opening up all my little baby hair brushes, y'all. Because I have several of them in here. But I also got some new ones, too. That I haven't even opened up yet. And she opening up all my little baby hair brushes. <laughs> this brush here real hard for some reason. Hmm. Y'all, this is a big wig. And when I tell y'all, it's big. It's like very like big, big girl head friendly. Okay. So if you got a big head like myself, this wig will definitely fit your head, child. You ain't got to wear it. <laughs> it seemed like my little head done shrunk though a little bit. I ain't talking about my forehead either, y'all. I'm talking about my head size, like, then shrunk a little bit. Because back in the day, your girl used to have a real fat, chubby face. I'm talking about y'all. Before I got my gallbladder removed, y'all saw how chubby I was in my body and in my face and stuff like that. But now, it's to the point where... Your girl just ain't really been eating that much. And even at first, I was dropping some pounds and stuff. I was just losing weight, just dropping some pounds. Just, I mean, I would eat and stuff, but I wasn't eating like that to where, you know, I'm just going to gain all of my little fat back. I wasn't eating like that, but I was definitely eating and stuff. But now, child, Candy Poo just have not had an appetite. I have not had an appetite at all. I still eat, but not like I used to. Mm -mm. But it's all right. Because God, he gone. Mm. Mm. God is going to restore, and it's going to be some brand new things happening in my life. It sure is. It's going to be some brand new things to happen in my life, y'all. I don't know when. I don't know how. I just know it's going to happen. I'm going to have to tie this back down because it's not going to lay down if I don't tie it back down. I got to hurry up, child, because y'all know time be rolling when you're getting ready for church. It's 8.52. I need to be up out of here in a little bit. I got to go out here and move my other truck. I have to switch places out here because I was in my, I was driving my other truck, y'all, and I was letting my truck that I'm always in, I was letting that one rest for a minute because it's some stuff that I got to get fixed on it. 
so I wasn't just hopping in it all the time. But I'm still driving and stuff. I'm actually gonna drive it uh, today since I was in my other truck yesterday. But um, yeah. Hmm. Let me find my little study earrings. like wearing my uh my big hoops to church no more i mean i'll rock them and stuff like that going to the store or getting cute and stuff running my little errands but as far as just wearing my big like hoops and stuff to church y'all y'all notice that i don't even wear my hoops no more to church i used to but um i just feel like Wearing them big old hoops to church, child. <laughs> I don't know. It's like my style is changing since I'm getting a little older. Now, I wear a medium-sized hoop to church, but I don't want nothing big like the big-sized hoops that I normally would wear just going out somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know I gotta have my little glove when I put my foundation off. I don't want that the foundation to soak into my, my false nails because sometimes it will do that and then it'll turn my nail like brown. So that's the reason why I just bought these little plastic gloves at the Dollar Tree and I'll uh. I just put one on my hand when I'm patting my foundation and stuff into my skin. I gotta go in here and find me some shoes and everything. Girl, I done packed up my other beauty blenders. They throw them one of them boxes in there. The ones that I had got from Timu, my brand new ones, and I need them right now. <laughs> Using these old beauty blenders. That's not always good to use an old one. You know, you really don't want all that this like old foundation in your skin that was just been sitting in this thing when you used it the first time. y'all i washed yesterday i meant to come on camera and show y'all you know how to wash and detergent works and stuff like that but i washed yesterday and um that detergent it works pretty good y'all it does give your clothes like a really nice smell after you wash them but it's not as strong strong as if you were smelling it from out the bag if y'all understand what i'm saying so but i do feel like it's some really good it's some really good washing powder that if y'all want to you know purchase y'all some y'all can it's not too bad but the next time i wash with it though and i was using the I was using my original, the original one. I haven't opened up the downy one yet. So the next time I wash with it though, I am going to, um, um, I'm probably gonna show y'all when I wash with it again, because it does make a lot of suds. So don't put no whole, whole lot in there. Cause that was my mistake, child. I opened up that bag. And, uh, well, actually, Jemaya opened up. Well, did she open up that bag? I think she did. 
think Jamaya opened up the bag. I don't know, child. But, um, girl, I pulled all of that. I accidentally pulled too much in my washing machine. And it made so many suds. Girl, when I tell you, that stuff will have your whole washing machine full of suds. <laughs> Just make sure you use the amount that it's telling you to use on the back of the bag. Because if you don't, you're going to have a lot of suds in your washing machine. A lot. And that was my mistake. I used too much, but it's okay. My clothes still got clean. You know, it did leave a, a nice little smell and stuff on my clothes after after I um I washed with it. So yeah, the next time I wash though, I'm gonna add a little bit of my downy, not downy, a little bit of my tide that I got left in there. I'm just gonna add a little bit, a little bit of that in there with the the washing detergent, and I'm gonna see how it washed together. But other than that, y'all, y'all can go on here and get y'all some if y'all want to. I don't think it's too bad. It ain't too bad at all. And y'all can, you know, throw your little extra stuff or whatever that y'all put in y'all washing machine when y'all washing. You know, some people pour, like, vinegar and stuff in their washer, you know, when they washing clothes with the detergent. And that, I believe, that kind of, like, gets some of the, some of the excess grease and all of that out of your clothes and your towels and stuff. When you pour a little vinegar, it makes your clothes a little clean. Or you can do a little baking soda and stuff like that. It'll make your clothes a little, a little clean and fresher. Because I've seen a lot of people do this. Matter of fact, I seen my girl Mimi, uh, uh, Mimi, Mimi for a two. She would pour vinegar in her clothes, and I used to wonder what the vinegar for. But when she told me, uh, that's when, that's when I began to do that sometimes. I'm just like, let me pour me a little, just a little drop of vinegar in my washing machine with my clothes. It's not gonna have your clothes smelling like vinegar or nothing. It's just gonna. You know, make them a little, a little bit more, you know, fresher. Yeah. But I'm loving this red bob, though. Yes. I done wore her a couple of times, y'all. I haven't been rocking her, rocking her like that, but I've worn her to church a couple of times. I just love this color. I'm going to have to order me another one of these in a different color. It's another color that I was looking for. I think it was like this sandy, like, blonde color. That I'm probably going to end up getting. Whew. But your girl is ready to go. All I got to do is. Um, throw the rest of my jewelry on. And my shoes. I'm going to let y'all see my outfit when I throw my. My uh. My shoes on. I'm going to go out here and get my shoes real quick. Yeah. I think I'm going to rock my, my black glasses. I'll throw these on, y'all. Because your girl's still looking a little sleepy this morning. So, yeah, let me go run in here, y'all, and get my shoes. And then I'm going to show y'all my outfit. And me and Jamari going to be ready to go. Okay. All right, y'all. So, I went and got my shoes real quick. I went outside and switched trucks and all that good stuff. I'm going to wear these right here today. My cute little... uh heels I got from Rainbow. Let me show y'all. It has like this gold like wrap around. It's supposed to wrap around your little ankle. Like you got a ankle bracelet on. And uh, I was on the hunt for some of these in in that green color. Because I wanted them in green y'all but they didn't have no more of them. And then these are the sandals, sandal heels that was on sale, too. They were on sale for, I think my girl T told me they was on sale for, uh, for $7, I think. Because I believe I paid, 
twelve ninety nine for these, y'all. I don't know what I told y'all when I picked these up. But the reason that I wanted to go back and look for the other colors is because they were on sale. But these real cute on feet. They are so dang on cute and I wish I would have went ahead on and when I saw these the first time, I wish I would have went ahead on and got them in a white. I wanted them in a white or orange and a green. <laughs> Y'all know I don't need all these shoes, child. I already need to purge as it is. I need to get rid of some stuff. All these shoes and, and clothes I got, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up end up cleaning some stuff out when I, when I move and stuff. Because I'm still going to move and get up out of this house. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. Let me let y'all see my quick little church outfit of the day. I know y'all remember this dress. Because I had got this dress from uh, from the Goodwill a while back. I may have to put y'all on my, my tripod. I don't know. But this is my outfit. Yeah, because y'all ain't going to be able to see my shoes. <laughs> Let me grab my tripod real quick and see if I can sit y'all. I may can just sit y'all up on. Wait a minute. Let me get this. Instead of trying to screw this thing on the tripod. Okay. Let's see if y'all can see my whole outfit. Can y'all see my whole outfit? Let me grab my bag. I may, I may need to sit y'all on this taller one. Girl, almost knocked the whole thing over. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me fix these bangs. I gotta get my little stiff on up out here. Okay. So this is my outfit. Let me move all the way back. Can y'all see my shoes? I don't know if y'all can or not, but. Yeah, I may need to take my other little ankle bracelet off since I got like these gold chains and stuff already on these heels. Ooh, I'm gonna have to tighten this one up too because it feel like it's gonna come unloose. Y'all probably can't even see my shoes all the way back here. Y'all probably can't even see your girl's shoes. I may have to. I know what I'm finna do. I'm gonna put y'all up here like I did the last time. Put y'all up here. Y'all still, still can't see your girl. Nope, but listen. These are my heels. Okay. So y'all can get a good look at them. That's how they look. And as y'all can see, y'all see I got on my two. Well, I actually got on my gold ankle bracelet, which I may need to take that off since these heels got like these gold chains on them and stuff. I don't know. I may need to take that off. Child. What are we be doing too much? But yeah. Okay. I need to put my my lippy on. Some sort of lip gloss or something. I need to throw on right quick. And I'm going to take this off. Uh, take this other uh, ankle bracelet off. On my uh, what is this? Ruby Kisses Butter Boom Butter Bomb Gloss. I'm gonna wear some of this. As y'all know, I don't really too much putting it on my lip. It's real dramatic anyway. I try to do like a natural, like pink or nude pink or something. I really don't like all that loud, you know, like dramatic lipstick no more like I used to. I used to throw on burgundy. I used to throw on a little purple. I used to throw on, yeah, I used to throw on a lot of different colors now when I was 
doing my little uh bun tutorials but now since i haven't did a ponytail yet and i will be doing my ponytail y'all i will be doing my ponytail i actually ordered me the new little ponytail they had out and it came in the mail the other day this right here this is a pony pro i ordered me one of these this is actually what i was waiting on because i was gonna do my curly like it's like a real long curly ponytail and i was gonna do me like a layer bang and i was gonna add them little baby hairs y'all y'all know them little baby hairs child that i ordered <laughs> which are these i have not opened them yet ordered these from my amazon so your girl will be doing her ponytail i don't know the exact date but i am going to be doing it just to let my hair breathe from these wigs and stuff i just want like a medium sized long ponytail y'all and that's what i'm gonna do for y'all so yeah but anyway Miss mice is getting ready to get out of here so i'm probably gonna either see y'all at church yeah i'm probably gonna see y'all when i get to church all right
take a moment and thank God for who he is. Could you do that with me? Could you thank him for who he is and for what he's done and for what he's going to do? That phrase should just intensify. Thank God for who he is, for what he's done. special in my life, and they are my brother and my sister, Bishop and Evangelist Hawkins. I love the two of you with my entire heart. I love you dearly, and I'm actually humbled by this opportunity as well as thankful. We have known each other down through the years, prayed. She has encouraged me on so many levels in my life, and I cherish those moments that we talk because she is my true sister. And Bishop Hawkins, you know what you mean to our family and to my husband, Bishop Shelby. And I just want to take time, and you're going to interact with me a little bit today because I am going somewhere and I won't be long. I know my time restraints. But I want you to stand to your feet and let's celebrate two of God's best leaders. And I know you already know this. It's nothing to you because Temple of Deliverance, you celebrate your leaders. And, and I feel that. But let's, let's be of you and I'm thankful to be here with you. I thank him for covering me and being my pastor, my leader, and my best friend and the priest of my home. And he's here because he's right here in my heart. And I thank God for his leadership. Now, we are embarking upon a moment of time where God is going to show himself powerful and strong through the blood and as I came in and I looked out on this audience and I saw all the red and you were moving and I saw I saw the worship and I, I could feel the presence of God even when I was in the back room preparing to come in and all last night I tossed and I turned and I prayed because I could feel that God was already here when I got here because you're not void of a word in this house but I felt that there was a move and a shift in movement that God was going to allow us to embark upon through the blood of Jesus. How many of you know that the blood still works? God is covering all of us with the blood right now. And I declare in this atmosphere that the blood of Jesus will begin to shift and move and is moving even right now on your behalf. And the blood is covering some things. I want you to say that with me, the blood. Say it with me, with all that is within you in your spirit. I want you to say, the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Say it again, the blood of Jesus. moments that you remain focused on God with no distractions on this morning. There is something significant, somebody say significant, that is happening in your life at this very moment. And we have got to strategically navigate our way through this defining moment in our lives. I have the faith to believe that your life will never be the same. As a matter of fact, the Lord told me if everyone under the sound of my voice would yield and repent, that he wants to perform the miraculous. And I know we wait until the end and we will get to an altar call. But right now, before we go into any of this word, let's lift our hands up and repent to the Lord and ask him to forgive us. Oh no, none of us are void of repentance. I'm not void of saying, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm not void of saying, Lord, save me again, fill me again, wash me again. Come on, talk to it. No matter where you are in your life, if you're 80 years old, 90 years old, 2 years old, 5 year old, repentance is always in order. And what God wants to do right now, he wants us to get it right so that when we hear the word, it will fall upon good ground and we'll see a shift in the atmosphere. Come on, talk to him. 
Now, if you believe that the Lord heard your prayer, if you believe that he washed it all away, no matter what you did the mo mo in moments before, even the night before, God has forgiven you. I want you to clap your hand and praise him and thank him for life. Thank him for the ability and the great thing that I like. The Lord has had me on assignment to pray, and I oftentimes, as a young wife, mother, I never understood why I would be locked up so much in prayer. And it wasn't to a place where I would worry, but it was a place where God would have me laying on my face and praying. There have been many, many, many times in my life that I have had to call on the name of Jesus and that he's had me to carry a burden for others. And, and now move of God that will produce a great harvest of souls. And it is going to protect the sanctity of what God intends for all of our lives. We are living in the last day, and it's praying time. It's time to get serious about God and get back to pleading the blood. Somebody shake the blood. We've got to cover each other in prayer. And we've got to pray until the Lord saturates our lives, our situations, in the blood. Because the enemy can't come through the blood. Shout with me again, the blood of Jesus. I know the power of prayer. My husband and I, a year before we got married, we were hit head on by a drunk driver at 90 miles per hour. He, we were both left on the side of the highway for dead. They came to the car, cut my husband out of the car, and brought his leg, the other half of his leg, to the ambulance in a bucket and told him that he would never walk again. But somebody shot the blood. When I was on the side of that dark highway, all I could do, I was the only one left conscious in the car. But all I knew to do was to get out of the car and begin to plead the blood on the dark highway. And I saw the Lord move on our behalf. I saw cars come at us at 80 miles per hour. I was standing on the side of the road waving my hand to keep automobiles from hitting us a first, second, and third time. And all I could do was wave my hand and cars would get from here to here and discover that I was in the road and they would veer off the road to keep from hitting us again. So I know the power of the blood. My husband spent one life of his, one year of his life in a wheelchair. Could not walk, was a preacher in the wheelchair. But on our wedding day, the Lord healed his body. And now people wonder why he praises God like he does because of the blood.
Everybody shout that with me. Healing. Healing. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. And deliverance. deliverance. I speak healing. Yes. Breakthrough. Yes. And deliverance. I speak in this atmosphere that it be changed and that we see the result of bleeding the blood through miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. And you will know by evidence that after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. Egypt. 
both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Verse 13, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Let's take a moment and reflect on the Passover as we have just read in Exodus 12. And according to the word of God, God's people lived as slaves in Egypt approximately 400 years. And despite the Israelites' determination to escape, Pharaoh made it extremely difficult for them. So during this time, God witnessed their oppression and heard their cries for freedom. This day in the sanctuary, somebody is crying for help. And somebody is bound with a stronghold. But God is loosing that stronghold. We command in this atmosphere right now because the Lord witnessed the oppression of his people, the Israelites. So right now we'll stop and we'll say we command that oppression, depression, anxiety, fear, schizophrenia will lose its hold in this room. So I know y'all in the middle of my church service right now, but um, yeah, as soon as I got out of church and got home, I decided I wanted to go ahead and throw this review into this vlog. So this video here, y'all, is being sponsored by Elmore, um, what is this? A door lock, Elmore door lock. And they were so kind to send me out a like personal safe door lock for my home y'all okay um i have the model m12 and this one here has the bluetooth on it and the orb which i don't know what the orb is okay i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and they did send me out the sample so this is their sample like safety door uh pad y'all this is the manual book Okay, it just tells, you know, how to operate, you know, the door and stuff like that whenever you get it installed and stuff. Then we have this here. This came inside the box as well. Oh, okay, this is just the quick setup guard on how you're supposed to set everything up, you know, 
put your pad code in and stuff like that so it'll tell you you know how to do all of that this is what it looks like inside the box okay let me go here take this out y'all i be getting sent out some really good products y'all <laughs> like chow wait a minute let me see what this is okay so y'all know i'm gonna have to go into my manual book and see what everything is but i have this little thing here which i don't know what this is okay then it comes with this little usb cord i'm trying to take this out wait a minute y'all let me get some scissors comes with this little cord here okay then we have the little adapter and I'm pretty sure that's probably how you um, probably have to charge something up y'all alrighty so on the site I did do like a little you know just a little rundown on their site or whatever and i did stroll through there and they have like a lot of different like lock pads for your door door y'all they also have like different styles and different models and stuff like that but the one that i have like i told y'all this is the the sampler that he sent out to me oh i'm almost dropping stuff so this part here this you know this part goes in the inside of the door y'all okay this is how you unlock and lock and then we have this one here which goes on the outside of the door they also got it to where they have their own uh, people to install these okay so you know if you don't know how to do it if your husband don't know how to do it Hey, you can call them. They do have a number on their website and they will literally send somebody out to install this on your door. Okay. So this is what mines look like. You put the, your key in there and this here, I'm trying to see, wait a minute. Oh, it says tear. Okay. I can tear that off. I just go ahead and take it off. But what happens is, y'all, this is like a Bluetooth thing. So I connect it to my phone, and then y'all probably can't see, which y'all probably not going to be able to see because it's not on an actual door. But it has, like, numbers. And this may look a little scratched up and stuff, but that's just the plastic that's on top of here. Once I take that plastic off, then it'll be like a clean, like, you know, surface or whatever. But... This thing works through your phone. Even if you don't want to use your key, it works through your, your Bluetooth or your phone. And then uh, it says you can, wow, this thing says you can literally put like a card. Y'all see that little card, uh, little symbol right there? You can put a card like right in front of it and... It can open up your door now say for instance y'all know the hotel doors and stuff you got to use a card to open up the door this may be similar to that okay this is pretty cool right here this is pretty cool now as far as my keys everything is in this box right here let me open this up So this is what you have, all of your screws, okay? And I guess these little things here probably go on your keychain or something. And this is the other part of the door that goes on the side once it's installed. And here are your two keys. Okay, so this little thing here, y'all, comes in handy, especially if you didn't move somewhere and you know that you're just renting and the rent people give you your keys to your home. 
whoever you dealing with i'm pretty sure they have extra keys to your house just in case you need maintenance done or anything done in your house they'll be able to get in but if you are living in a townhouse an apartment or something like that and you just want to switch out the the, the doorknobs and stuff like that at your apartment or something like that. So, you know, the maintenance crew won't just be walking in your house and stuff like that when you're not at home. Yeah, I have experienced it before because I think I told y'all when I had my townhouse and um, I was living on my own for a minute. I was telling y'all that the maintenance guy came into my house and I wasn't even there. So my little brother came and installed Two different, like, dead bolt locks on both of my doors, y'all. So, whenever I was gone, could nobody come into my townhouse. I told my little brother to do that for me. He hit it up and came and did it. Because I ain't appreciate that, child. I was literally, uh, like, upset when that guy came into my house calling himself trying to fix something. And I went there. So, these things right here really do come in handy. Like I said, especially if you, like, in a townhouse apartment or something like that, you want to switch out your locks and stuff. Just... So your house can be secure and you, you don't feel like nobody walking in and out of it when you ain't there. Bam! Put this on now and they won't be able to get in. <laughs> they will not be able to get in. And then, you know, if you're owning your own home, you can install these. Well, you can get them installed. And, um, yeah, you'll just have your own little, you know, door lock. Your own personal door lock to where it can't nobody enter. Even if you buying your house. So that's pretty cool right there. I like that. And this is what mine looks like right here, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see on this box. Then y'all will be able to see the numbers too. But y'all see that? This is the one that I have. So once it gets installed and stuff like that, the numbers will pop up through the screen. And instead of me using a key, I can type in my pin code or whatever and it should unlock my door i like that i really really like that now on the site y'all um i'm guessing this one here is like 80 some dollars maybe a hundred some dollars child listen i don't want to tell y'all wrong i'll probably try to find the price and put it somewhere in the video i'm gonna link down the website as well if y'all want to check out the website and if I have a coupon code, I will, you know, insert the coupon code down below in my description box for y'all. So y'all will be able to get, you know, percentage, percentages off. Girl, my tongue. It's just certain words that your girl can't pronounce correct. So y'all excuse me. But yeah, you will get a certain amount off, whether it's a 30%, 20%, 10% off. That's if I have a coupon code. I'll drop it down below in my description box for y'all. Okay, so y'all let me know what y'all are thinking about this product here. And like I said, this here, let me take this out the plastic. This may be like a voice monitor or something like that. I don't know because it has two little dots here like a speaker to where, you know, if somebody comes to the door, you'll probably be able to talk through it. And then this is where you charge it up when it's, you know, when it's low or whatever. But like I told you, I'm going to read my instructions and then I'm going to go from there and let y'all know uh, whenever this gets installed, whenever I move and stuff like that. Because like I told y'all, it's things that has been going on and it's probably going to be some things that is going to change. And um, yeah. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk to y'all about. As far as those cameras that I received from Timu, I received so many cameras from Timu, y'all. I got a, um, I got a comment from one of my subscribers and she was telling me, Candy Poop, please be careful with those Timu cameras because once you hook them up in your house, outside your house, Make sure you do your own research because someone had one of those cameras and they hooked it up to their house and it was on the internet. So I am warning everybody, all of my sisters and brothers out there, if y'all receive any cameras from Timu, just random cameras and stuff like that. One of y'all told me y'all had a camera from Timu. 
Now, I don't know if y'all have experienced that or not, but y'all need to do a little bit more research and check to see if y'all stuff is all the way, all the way private. Okay, so nobody won't be knowing what y'all doing in, in y'all home or outside y'all home and stuff like that. Especially if these are like random cameras and you just hooking them up to your phone and stuff like that. And then, you know, y'all know hackers and all type of stuff. They be tapping into to like all this technology and all of this electronical stuff. And your camera in your house will be on the internet. So y'all make sure y'all be very careful with those cameras. Once she left me that message, I was just like, wow. So do I really want to hook up any one of these cameras that I got from Timu? Now the cameras that I have now in my home, they're Arlo. And I've been using those for a very long time. And those are pretty secure and pretty safe, okay? But me just getting random cameras from Timu and stuff like that, I have to do some research. But if you if you buy cameras from Walmart, Best Buy, Target, and stuff like that, of course, I don't think those cameras would be on online, y'all. You just got to hook them up, make sure your stuff is secure. But these cameras you get from Timu, they don't have no sort of, like, name brand to them they're just random cameras that you're just hooking up so yeah y'all just be careful on that i'm glad i got heads up on that because kitty poo don't never want nobody on the internet like that if i'm not broadcasting nothing or vlogging nothing i don't need none of those cameras to be on just the internet like that i mean that's just bad y'all that's just bad and if y'all can get on youtube and type up um cameras being exposed on the internet from your house just type up something like that and see what y'all see what pops up see what y'all see okay so yeah again just be careful but we're gonna jump back into this vlog y'all and uh y'all be safe and i love y'all all right see y'all on the other side <laughs> would pass over their houses and because of the blood that was applied at that house song she was singing mm. I love that song y'all I so love that song <sighs> I'm glad I showed up this Sunday because I did not know who was gonna be here this Sunday but when I saw who was singing I said oh yes Lord yes Lord and the special guest that actually preached today y'all she was good. She was real good. 
And the reason why we having special guests here this month is because it's women's month for us. Now last Sunday, it was Lisa Page. And uh, I was trying to think, well, no, no it wasn't. It was the Sunday before that. It was Lisa Page and then last Sunday we had, uh, I forgot the young lady's name, y'all. But we've been having like special guests uh, here. Even though I did not go to church on last Sunday due to stuff that was going on. But I did tune in to the service and it was an awesome, awesome service. Then, you know, they had um, different services that they were doing um, later on that night that they broadcasted. So whatever that I don't record for y'all, y'all can still, you know, if y'all want to tune in to anything that's going on here. Oh, excuse me. Y'all can tune in to TOD Memphis. And y'all be y'all will be able to see the service. Even if I'm not, you know, broadcasting anything. Now, some Sundays y'all know that, you know, I won't even broadcast. I'll just come to church and just, you know, let the Lord have his way within me. And I, you know, give all my time to the Lord without picking up a camera. So, y'all already know about that. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I decided not to go to Granny's house today because Granny is um, still at church. And um, I'll probably just go grab a bite to eat, me and Jemaya. Go grab something to eat. Snuggle, what you want to eat? What you got a taste for? Hmm. You got a taste for something? Or you just want to eat something at the house. Huh? I can't hear you. Hmm? You want some church's chicken? Oh, that's something I just don't want. I do not want any church's chicken, y'all, for some reason. I wish I had some coupons, but I don't even got no coupons. There's some hair in my face. Ooh. Yeah, I don't even have no coupons at all. I wish I had some. Would you just want some chicken or you want like a whole like little meal? Mm -hmm. You want like a little meal? Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, well, well. Churches is like all the way across town, y'all. All the way across town. Hmm. Oh, the Lord surely knows how to bring the right people at the right time when you are going through. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He sets them up at the right time. Just when you need to hear what you need to hear, y'all. Mm, thank you, Jesus. That was a powerful message that young lady preached on today. I enjoyed all of her testimonies. I don't think I broadcast them all. But she had some testimonies that she was telling y'all. Y'all hear me? God is good. And when she said, plead the blood, hallelujah, over your children, over your body, over your home, plead the blood of Jesus. Because the blood still works. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, that blood, it still works, baby. Y'all hear me? But I sure do thank God on today. Mm, God is so good. He is so good. Thank you, Jesus. And no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I hope y'all enjoy this message, this service on today. I just hope y'all just got something out of it. <laughs> I hope y'all got something out of it, baby. I surely do thank God on this Sunday for healing my body. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe it. And I shall receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm going to see if I can drive all the way across here to go to churches, y'all.
me and Jamaya can grab a bite to eat. I really don't feel like no chicken today. But I don't want to go no whole lot of different places either. So I'll go ahead and make this one stop. Get us some chicken and mashed potatoes. And, uh, maybe a little, little thing of slaw. Because I haven't had no churches, y'all, in so long. It's been a really really long time that your girl didn't had some church's chicken <laughs> i just have not had an appetite i have not been really eating eating like i normally would eat y'all it's just but i thank the lord mm, for always filling me up when i had not put nothing in my stomach he still keeps me full in the name of jesus thank you lord hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, but I thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the power of the Lord. The power of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It covers me. It covers my children. Hallelujah. It covers y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll see y'all when I get to church. It's okay. So let's see what specials they have. They have the eight piece for ten dollars. They have the Texas size grand meal for thirty ninety nine. Snuggle, what you want? Just a little small meal for you, huh? Okay, let me go around here. They may just have a. Uh, I may just get that nine ninety nine box and just add my sides to it. I may just do that. I cannot believe this line ain't long. Like, it ain't Welcome nobody in this line. If you'd like to try a bourbon black pepper smokehouse, have chicken come over for only $8.99. Order when you're ready, please. Um, can you hold on for one second? Yeah, I have to get this line, child. Um, can I get that $9.99 uh, special? Well, wait a minute. The eight. eight pieces only on sale on Wednesday. We got our ten pieces today for thirteen ninety nine. With tax, it'll be fifteen thirty five. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um. Yeah, you can give me the. Uh, you said the. Wait a minute. You said something. Now the eight. I mean the eight piece gonna be sixteen ninety nine today, but the ten piece will be fifteen thirty five with tax. Okay, give me that eight piece. The eight piece for sixteen ninety nine. Yes. And I would like to add some sides to that, please. Um, you can give me a large mashed potato, um, four biscuits, with um, a large salal, please. That's it. And three seven five. Thank you for all. Mm hmm. I don't even know what she said, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what she said. Hmm. It's 91 degrees out here today. Burning up, y'all. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow and the rest of this week, but we shall see. <laughs> we shall see. It looks like my battery finna cut off on y'all, too. Not my battery, but my time. I got like four minutes on this chip. So I really don't have no whole lot of uh, time on this chip. I ain't even bring no, did I bring an extra SD card? 
If not, I'm gonna have to erase this stuff off of them. Lord have mercy. Hmm, hopefully. I don't know, y'all. I'm probably gonna have to get up off of here in the mini chair. Oh, Lord. Help me, Lord. Keep me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all, they closed up Shoney's here. Well, they closed up all the Shoney's. Y'all got a Shoney's. They closed them all. You say what, ma'am? 33.75. I should have got the $30.99 meal then. If I was going to pay that much. They had a $30.99 meal that I should have came with everything. I should have just got there, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I should have just got this. Because it made perfectly, perfectly good sense. Mm. Well, hmm, she gave me three, uh, Y'all, she gave me three little things of slaw. I told her a large slaw. She just gave me three of these little slaw. And gave me a large uh, mashed potato. Mm. Oh, well, oh, well. Well, I'm headed home, y'all. Me and Jamal, we're going to go eat. Going to make me a plate. And I'm finna call it today. I'm finna rest my mind today, y'all. I got some things that I gotta go in prayer about later on. And that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna try to get this video up today, though. It may be impossible for me to do that because, like I told y'all, whenever I'm vlogging on one day, my videos normally be up, well, I'm vlogging on Sunday, so my Sunday vlogs normally be up on Mondays, which if y'all getting this video today, which is Monday, of course, but I was trying to upload it on Sunday so that y'all can get this video today, which is actually Sunday. So yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna get ready to get off of here. Y'all got one minute, so y'all be blessed. Y'all take care. Continue to stay prayed up. Depend on the Lord and know that the blood covers you. Plead the blood. Go in prayer over your home, over your vehicles, over your children, over your spouse. Y'all better do it. All right? I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all next time. Later.